Hey, and welcome back to Mario Minutes. In this video, we're talking about one of the most important parts of texturing, references. So let's start simple. If you're new to this, a reference is just any real world image, video, scan, or even physical object you can use to guide your texture work. It shows you what a surface actually looks like, not what you think it looks like. Because here's the truth, the human brain is a liar. You might think you know what a dragon scale looks like or rusted metal looks like, but until you study the way light hits them, how grime builds up, how color fades over time, you're just guessing. And guessing leads to boring, uncanny valley textures. If you want to look in detail on how to make your own reference pictures, Stuart Ansley covers this in detail in his Behind the Smart Masks video. So let's take this dragon as an example. Textured and looked dev by Matteo Lorenz and modeled by Curtis Dahl. When this asset was textured, photos of reptiles weren't just gathered, they were broken down into functional surface types. There's dry cracked skin, glossy mouth tissue, flaked horns, dirt built up in joints, and every single one of those tells us something about the creature's world, age, and biology. So here's a tip most beginners miss. You're not collecting reference for style, you're collecting it for surface logic. Ask yourself, what's this material made of? How does it wear over time? What kind of environment would leave these stains, scars, or gloss patterns? Another tip, reference age range. Don't just get one ideal photo, get a clean, a midwear, and fully destroyed version of the same material. That gives you a timeline and you can decide where your asset sits in that life cycle. And if you're doing a creature like this, mix real world biology with existing VFX references. Not to copy, but to benchmark what works in production. Look at how other dragons break up color with blood flow or how artists handle mouth wetness. Learn from it, then push it further. So yes, good reference doesn't just make your textures better, it makes them believable. You're not just painting surfaces, you're painting a history.